All right, in this video, I want to talk about um, an aspect of how the mind works. And it, uh, most of what I'm going to talk about comes from the work of um, Daniel Kahneman and Amos Stravinsky. And primarily, I'm drawing on the book Thinking Fast and Slow by um, Daniel Kahneman. All right, so in it, he lays out two different systems um, in our mind that are used to, um, that we use to navigate the the world okay so let's look at system one first here I'm gonna um, show you an image on each of the following slides and uh, if we were doing this lesson in person um, I'd have you guys discuss uh, the the images and your reactions to the images and what pops into your mind immediately for the video I'm just gonna show you the image and then take a couple seconds see what your initial reaction is and then uh, we'll go through a few of them and then we'll talk about uh, system one thinking at the end okay so here's the first image Okay, this is Kevin from the office. Obviously, he doesn't want um, broccoli. You can probably see that right away without even thinking about it. This next one. All right, as soon as you see this, you probably think kids playing, playing in the water. Um, they're probably enjoying themselves, having fun. This guy is clearly doing a flip off of a um, uh, off of some sort of barrier or wall or something there. You probably solved this math problem without even thinking about it. You probably read that sign almost instantaneously without even thinking about it. You could probably, um, it would probably be difficult for you to look at that sign and not read it and not understand the um, the words that are on the on the sign if English is your is your native language. Okay, so when you looked at all those image, images and you had a, an initial reaction to them, you immediately understood certain aspects of what was going on. You knew that Kevin was disgusted by the broccoli. You knew that one plus two equals three. That was completed in your mind without you doing any cognitive effort at all. Like I said, you read the sign on the billboard. Um, you knew that, the kids, that that was kids playing right away. You didn't have to think about it. These are all system one operations, okay? System one is the, the system in your mind that's operating automatically, quickly, with little or no effort, and without voluntary control. As soon as you do something that requires you to consciously think or manipulate something in your mind or um, follow a line of reasoning, that's going into the second system. But in system one, it's operating quickly, automatically, you're not even thinking about it, okay? Things like orienting yourself towards the sound. So you hear a sound, you turn and look. That required, again, no conscious thinking on your part. Detecting hostility in a voice. So the example that I like to use is if you walk into a room and you instantly know that, that the people or in the room were talking about you or you suspect that they were talking about you. Um, reading large words on a billboard, simple math equations, um, figuring out whether an object is close or far away, you do that um, without again without even thinking about it I can tell that the chair right in front of me is closer than the chair across the room that requires no um, system of thinking or logic for me to arrive at that conclusion I do it automatically and so that pretty much is system one the important things to remember is it's um, quick automatic unconscious and this is the system that you're operating in most of the time this is this is the system that's in control for the most part uh, and then in the next video, we'll talk about system two and um, how that one works and operates and in what space it's most.